Hi, my name is Matt Clancy, and I'm a lead propulsion engineer at Relativity Space. And today, since you asked, I'm going to chat with you about how are mock diamonds created? Okay, uh, good question, tough question. To explain mock diamonds, let's first talk about what the job of the nozzle is. So the divergent section of the nozzle is responsible for converting very high pressure and very high temperature gas into very high velocity gas. And that happens through a series of expansion waves and recompression shocks that uh, generate very high velocity, uniform and parallel flow at the exit plane of the nozzle. If you look at the test that we've been running recently, you might say, okay, well, why isn't a perfect cylinder of gas coming out of the nozzle? Well, recently, the dev articles that we've been testing are all underexpanded. And these test articles have to create expansion waves so that the hot gas at the outlet is equal in pressure across the shear layer to ambient pressure around the test article. Our soon to be tested flight design will actually have a slightly overexpanded nozzle, which then has to form oblique shocks and, and compressions to increase the pressure of the plume at the outlet of the nozzle. When these shock waves and expansion waves reconverge on themselves further downstream in the plume, they form a normal shock wave. And across that normal shock wave, you see an increase in pressure and temperature of the gas resulting in more chemical reactions in that gorgeous blue mock diamond that we all uh, associate with methalox engines. 